I didn't want to do shit. I didn't want to go to school. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I would drive. Like, I would, when I was, the times I was living with my mom, when I was um, at during them times, like, I would lie and be like, yeah, I'm going to school. I had bought a car because I was serving. I had bought a little whip. I had money. So I drive, like, leave the crib and just drive, like, to my home, like, to my homeboy trap type shit and just stay there all day, never go to school. I never really stayed at the crib at them times. You know what I'm saying? Until I started really making money and I got a little older and, you know what I mean? Start wilding out as much. I really care about the Florida rap scene. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, like Florida. I was born up here, and I moved down to Florida. When I was like six. I didn't get to get into like too much shit up here, but bro, it was just a lot. Of, it was a lot of crime and shit. Like, I, I, that's what I was like. When I first came, when came, I moved to Cistron, and I'm seeing prostitutes and shit straight. And I ain't know what the fuck it was. I'm riding my bike like a little kid, thinking shit's sweet. And niggas is getting arrested. I remember one of my first friends in like 10th grade, he got arrested. I'm like, arrested? Like, at that them time, I'm thinking, like, what the fuck? Like, why? For what? Like, I didn't even think that was a possibility, you know what I'm saying? And then Florida, it really just, it made, it made you grow up fast. I had got kicked out of school. In like 12th grade, yeah, I got kicked out. And then uh, I went to alternative school. And I had put a mixtape out, and I'm getting like, on Tumblr they had like reblogs, like retweets. Like, I'm getting like a thousand retweets on the mixtape. I'm like, oh, like shit. To me, that's like back then, I'm like, oh fuck, you know what I'm saying? That's bigger than a bitch. So that, that was cool, but at the same time, it ain't changed nothing, cause I'm still, I'm still like, my, my class done graduated, I'm still in fucking alternative school. I still, you know what I mean? Still fucking serving, I ain't. Nothing really changed that too, too much. But then I remember I did an interview. Then they offered me like $500 for a show to go to like, I forgot where the fuck I went, like Dallas or some shit. And I was like, $500 for a show? I'm never coming back. And I never went back to school after that. From when I was young, I used to watch the like 106 in Park and Rap City and all that. And that's what I wanted to do. Like, I just seen them on TV and it's like, right, that's what I want to do. I studied everybody. My personal favorites was Slug from Atmosphere, 100%. Like, bars wise and storytelling, he was he just amazing to me. Another person I feel like slept on, one of my favorites is Sage Francis. I love Sage Francis. Like, that under, real underground, underground, like rap, like, I love that type of shit. Obviously, um, Biggie. Biggie was one of the first ones that made me want to rap because I'm about stole. Um, when my parents had the CD and I stole that motherfucker from like upstairs in their room, I stole it and took it. I steal all their CDs. Like with the Biggie CD, I remember stealing that bitch and listening to it like, oh shit. And I was like 10 years old, like, and I still understand, like, I didn't fully understand anything, but I just knew like, well, I'm listening to this, like, this shit hard. Another person was uh, Wayne, obviously, like, just because I feel like career wise, Still to this day, I feel like no other rapper has done what he did. He made so much taboos, household things. BMX, like for real, like, like for me, like that was my person. Like he was like, yeah, you know I mean, like <laughs> that nigga was just so raw with that shit. Like yeah. They was throwing something at my um, like this little trap we had, a little studio and. They was throwing like some type of party, like party slash fucking performance. I don't know what the fuck it was, like a Getty or some shit, like some weird broad shit. Niggas start fighting. I'm in there recording. I come out and then I see nigga fighting. I'm like, hold on, like what's going on? So I see one of my dogs fighting. I start getting off. You know what I'm saying? And then I see some like somebody getting jumped. I'm like, oh shit! And I start pulling, breaking the shit up. You know what I'm saying? Kind of find out later that it was X that got jumped. So I took. Bro, I'm like, hey, bro, like, come on, come outside of shit, you know what I'm saying? The niggas that jumped and ran off, I just had to calm him down because he was outside screaming. I'm like, ah, ah, the fuck they jumping me, bro? I'm like, shit, bro, I'm like, just chill, bro. There's a video of it on the internet, like, the caption is wrong. Like, they put, like, XXX screaming at Rob Banks, like, wilding, like, I'm like, okay. But, he, like, he was really mad, though, like, because he got, like, he got jumped, like, like anyone would be. And then afterwards, my little brother had, we used to listen to him and then he put me on him. And then when we met, I told him to come to the studio one day. He came to the studio and he's like, what's up, blah, blah, me. He's like, you don't remember me, bro? I was like, from where? He's like, 
the studio. Like, that was me that was getting drunk. I was like, oh shit. And I put two and two together. I see his face. I'm like, damn, that's you. Like, and I met Ski that same night. Like he had brought Ski to the studio with him. And then we got, ended up getting close after that, after he got locked up first time. We were supposed to go on tow, the, um, the Death Martinez tow, and he didn't end up coming. So Ski was out, and I'm like, Ski, like, come with me. I've spoken to both of them after, like, but when we talk, like, when I go to the studio with Ski, we don't even record. Like, we just be in there, like, telling jokes. I swear, like, we just be laughing. And when I'm with X, we getting, like, deep conversations about, like, music and the world, like, or we just be laughing, you know what I'm saying? Or we FaceTime or some shit. So I don't really, yeah, like, I don't really be talking to them about that type of shit, like, unless they bring it up or something. Like, I know right now, I, I think I think they, they cool right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, best friends. That shit is, that's a relationship that's never gonna go away. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's, it's nothing but love over there, for real, though. Like, they, like they, they real brothers, for real. I always, I, my project is either always like, it's one or two things. It has to be a setting and it has to be like, it has to make me feel some, like a really strong emotion, like usually fear. And Cloverfield, I remember that movie, I used to be really scared of it as a little kid. Like a motherfucking big ass monster, no, no. Like Godzilla, no, I'm not fucking with that. And that nigga face, they ain't show his face throughout the whole movie if you watch Cloverfield. But when you see him at the end, it's like, oh shit. Like you see cut face, music, a lot, putting music up. Scare, putting music out, sorry, scares me sometimes because of fans and things like that. Like, it might not be good as your next, like, just overthinking, you know what I mean? So I get, like, that's where the fear and the fear go hand in hand. I'm Jamaican, free robo, 100%. But I did that um, at uh, Cash Money Studio in Miami. That's one of, that was the old song I was talking about. Like, it was a real old song, but I had always liked it. Cartel. He really, he, he big in Jamaica. I go to Jamaica often, like my, my little sisters live down there, so I go see them a lot. And Cartel, he, he got a real influence down there, like for real. It didn't, I don't got no, nothing against Cub, like it was, I was, it was called Big Perk. It was like the first thing I said in the song. And it was another like freestyle. I said it and he had just came out with that shit, like he was talking about all the drug use and shit like that. So I just put that. That's all. That's really all there is to it. There ain't no deep meaning behind nothing like that. I just thought that shit was kind of lame. The whole project was impromptu. It was real quick. So it wasn't really nothing too thought out about it. So Green Star really set, it was like the wildfire that set, up, set off to put out Cloverfield 2.0, to be honest. Like, we was, I had heard the beat. K sent me the beat. I'm like, oh, this shit hard. I recorded it. I freestyled it in like 15, nah. Yeah, 15 minutes, something like that. Green in Florida mean like flaw, like fucked up, or like a nigga that just do whatever for for whatever goal, whatever his goal is, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like people have made me out to be that my whole life, my whole career, like like a person that just don't care about nobody else, which is, it, and it's a, honestly the opposite. To anybody that ever call me that, like, and try to come back and with their hand out or something like that, nah, like, that's why everything is green. Like, just remember, like, you, y'all niggas made me into this shit. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna own that motherfucker. And that's the tape, and then after that, Falconia. That's the big, big one. Falconia is going is like my real deal debut, like, debut album. I, I feel, I still feel like I've never done an album. Like, The, the City and Year the Savage were all mixtapes, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, Whereas I feel like Falcone is gonna be like my big album, like the Billboard motherfucker, like, you know what I'm saying? I, c I can help a lot of artists, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like that's the best thing for me to do, is get the label and like, cause I'm only gonna be doing this shit. Like, I got bigger goals in rap, helping when I can, you know what I'm saying? Almost like God-like type shit, you know what I'm saying? That's like how, like that's my ultimate goal in it, you know what I'm saying? I want to strictly be like, Bird man, like real talk, like that's what I want to be like. Bird or like Jake, one of them. Yeah.